Unprecedented violent crime in Louisville is paving the way for a federal partnership as people living in the communities affected most call out for help. Shootings all day, every day. Like, they do it in the daytime, they do it in the nighttime. It doesn't matter, and there's nothing being done about it. This woman, who didn't want to reveal her identity out of fear of retaliation, says violence is a daily occurrence in the Shawnee neighborhood where she lives. Terrified, like, just, I don't, I don't want to leave the house, you know, I'm scared to leave the house. Because of close calls like this, bullets ripped through her car while it was parked last week. She's thankful her family was not inside at the time. She actually would have been in that seat where the bullet went in at. You know, if, if, if I didn't get in the house 20 minutes before this happened, that would have been her. Louisville is seeing an unprecedented rise in violent crime. Data shows over the last five years, there's been a 57% increase in violent crime in the metro. The crime rate in Louisville is higher than the national average, which is one reason why the city is a 2021 National Public Safety Partnership site, or PSP. PSP will allow the city to work with the Department of Justice, local agencies, and community organizations to reduce violence in areas where it's most prevalent. We hope that we can rapidly bring those numbers down. The approach includes assistance in these eight areas, which are gun violence, community engagement, criminal justice collaboration, crime analysis, constitutional policing, federal partnerships, technology, and investigations. All areas LMPD Assistant Chief Paul Humphrey believes are vital to curbing crime. These are all things that we're already doing and we're going to use this PSP relationship in order to enhance those things that we're already doing, make them uh, more collaborative and stronger. It will be a three-year commitment from the DOJ to participate in the Public Safety Partnership, but LMPD Assistant Chief Humphrey tells me it will need involvement from the community. We can't be the only ones that do this. We don't want to be the only ones that do this. We know it's most effective when everybody is involved in the process of preventing uh, juveniles, especially from being involved in violent crime. In the meantime, for those in these hard hit neighborhoods, it's getting harder not to feel forgotten. We're hopeless, like we're just out here. Who, who cares? Just don't worry about them. You know, just who cares? Just let them kill each other. Gladys Bautista, WOKY News.